Dear colleagues, my name is Joachim Regel. I would like to introduce you to the Lever EcoPrime chromatography system. It is a fluid management system that enables the separation of specific proteins from other components in the process of the purification of biopharmaceuticals. The system has several benefits. First, it is designed to give the best batch-to-batch -batch reproducibility. Second, one Lever Eco Prime unit can replace up to three competitive systems in the market. And it has a very exceptional accuracy over a wide range um, of the flow of the system. Also, it can be used as a buffer in a solution system and it has a very open software architecture to allow a wide control. The system is made from two main components. First, the human machine interface, which allows the operator to control the system, for example, to make inputs or to control the pumps. One purpose of Lever Echo Prime is to mix buffer to create gradients. In order to do this with the highest accuracy, Lever Echo Prime employs Lever and Teledrive pumps. The system has two channels. Inlet A on channel A to pump buffer A into the system. Inlet B with pump B to pump buffer B into the system. One feature very unique for the Lever Echo Prime design is the Y design of the tubing. The Y assures most accurate fluid mixing and reduces residual pulsation on the complete piping. Accurate fluid mixing is essential to precise gradient formation and thoughtful fluid dynamic engineering sets Lever Echo Prime apart from any other chromatography equipment supplier. Following the fluid flow, I would like to show you now the pressure control valve. The pressure control valve is made to give the pumps a constant back pressure and can be regulated. After the pressure control valve, there is some piping and then we go into the bubble trap. In the bubble trap, solubilized air in the liquid is taken away to avoid any negative impact to the chromatography itself. In some cases, the bubble trap is isolated, for example, when the protein is sent directly to the column. After the bubble trap comes, in this case, another flow meter. Here, the total flow of the systems is measured and indicated. After the flow meter comes a very important portion of the system, the chromatography block valve. Here, into a separate loop, the liquid is sent to the chromatography column, where the separation takes place. Then the liquid is sent back into the piping and passing into the sensor block. Here, pH, conductivity and UV absorption is measured. Now we are coming to the very important last part of the system, the fraction collection system. On these valves, each fraction is sent to an individual container. For example, one fraction can be the target protein.